Hello and welcome, you, you wonderful people. Today I tried to make something different. I actually planned to make this video for the 1st of August, but I couldn't find the tool, this wood burning tool that I've had for many years now. Finally, I did find it. You have to know that I haven't used it in 15 or more years. And even before that, I used it once or, twi or twice to um, just decorate some wood pieces. You have to know that my mother loved wood burning and spent her y uh, youth um, maybe in making wood burning art so that's when I first have had to try it um, I think I was seven or eight years back then and we would draw animals together on some wood and then I was allowed to use her tool to burn. I know it's not the safest tool to use with children but well <laughs> um, my mother took um, care of us and no one got burned. I know that the first thing I ever tried to burn was um, some kind of deer, like a reindeer or maybe an elk. I'm not sure anymore. You may ask yourself why I wanted to make this video for the 1st of August. You may know uh, Val Valerie Connell. And I hope I'm right with the name. Her channel is called Drawing with Fire. She makes amazing, breathtaking art using her wood burning tool. And she does live streams and videos. And she started um, this monthly challenge. Let's call it like that. Like Inktober or other or mermaid or something but for pyrographers so there is a list of um, prompts for every day and she posts videos and live streams and she makes one big piece um, on her channel so because I didn't want to commit to make a wood burning piece every day, I thought, well, I could do that on the 1st of August, and the prompt is, I think it's flight or flying. So I wanted to burn a bee and some flowers, but because I couldn't find the tool, I'm pretty late with that, and I'm sorry. If you still want to join in, I think you still can. And if you want to start this hobby, you can too. <laughs> it's amazing. If you just want to enjoy the art, then I really recommend Valerie's channel. Sometimes, well, once she even burned on paper, like on watercolor paper, and added some color to it. And it's one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. There are other pyrographers too on YouTube. Cyan Inc. started with pyrography recently, and she's pretty good too. Um, Cyan burns flowers and animals and recently she 
burned a portrait of her dog Ruka and I hope I pronounced this right because her animals have the most fun names to say it's Yalmar and Ruka and it's a bunny and a dog but well she um, burns everything from animals to plants and flowers most often orchids and it's beautiful so if you want to enjoy some pyrography art I really recommend to check out this, those channels and if you want to join in in August I can recommend this too because it's so much fun for me it was almost like drawing with a very very hot pencil well not hot for my hands but obviously for the surface um, and it was strange and exciting and fulfilling at the same time so I think I could do the I could make this a habit I could I can see myself including pyrography in my art especially um, you have to know that the piece that I was burning there is a cutting board that's why the flowers are so wide apart to not, not have them in the center where they can be damaged by the knife when it's being used it's going to be a gift for a friend who likes to cook and I totally can see myself making more of those decorated cutting boards to give it to friends and family. Also there are no chemicals involved because um, the picture is just being um, put on the surface through heat and that's something I like. It's not covered and it's not going to be covered with anything, not oils, not varnishes or something. Because I wanted to keep it natural, I want it to be used and I want it to be loved. I hope you enjoyed this one and thank you for being here. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.